A week and a half after a deadly shooting, but just hours after a tip to police, a 12 year old murder suspect is in custody tonight. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm Joe Chiodo. Happening locally live at 5, two teens and a 12 year old boy stand accused of shooting two men, killing one. Tuesday, the teens were denied bond, but that boy was still on the run. A multi jurisdictional task force has been working to find him, and Tuesday night, they tracked him down. Lena Tillette continues our coverage live. Joe and Mallory, the picture of a 12 year old fugitive stunned Omaha and the nation. And last night, Jarrell Milton was caught hundreds of miles away in Minneapolis after an intensive search to bring the boy back. He is definitely the youngest suspect that we've seen for this type of crime. At 12 years old, Jarrell Milton was the highest priority fugitive for U.S. Marshals in Omaha, according to Supervisory Deputy Chris White. For a veteran marshal, it is shocking even to him. His picture is especially shocking. He looks like a 12 year old and it's hard to believe that he could kill somebody. Milton, his older brother, Jamar Milton and Shantavius Primes Willis are accused of shooting and killing Jamil Ray and wounding Chris Fisher. Jamar and Primes Willis are both teens. They are in jail and were denied bond Tuesday, but Milton has been on the run since June 29th. A fugitive task force of U.S. Marshals and local law enforcement have been working around the clock, gathering information about the preteens' connections. Deputy White tells me after the fugitive task force in Omaha got several tips that Milton could be in Minneapolis with family or friends, they immediately informed Marshals there. That was 8.30 on Tuesday night. By 11.30, he was arrested. He near a house that we had previously identified it might be associated with him. Authorities tell us Milton did not put up a fight. They're still investigating how he got to Minneapolis, but Deputy White tells me he may have been staying with family. His father, Javaris Milton, is from there, but he's now serving a life sentence for first degree murder, convicted of shooting and killing his cousin, according to court documents, in a drug deal gone wrong. Now two of his sons face the same fate. Now we've learned that Jarrell Milton has an older brother, Javaris Milton Jr., who faces serious weapons and, and drug charges here in Nebraska. We talked to Douglas County Attorney Don Klein, who tells us he does not know when Jarrell will be extradited back to Omaha. He says that there are some court proceedings that have to happen in Minneapolis before he can come back to Omaha. With producer Roger Hamer, I'm Lena Tillette, WOWT 6 News.